starting to work for us. Just drove the trailer up on a lip onto the road. Didn't even feel the trailer bobble in the truck. Look all nice. Goosenecks on board, all of them. One in the same direction. <laughs> Except for this guy. Gotta be an outlaw. Good evening, everybody. We had a package show up today, which that package weighed enough. It almost killed our FedEx man. But uh, I'm mid process of working on something else, but I want to install this thing right now. So, bada bing. Oh man, I'm really, really looking forward to trying this thing. I just want to see how it looks up on there right now. So we're going to make this happen. But if you guys are unfamiliar, this is a shocker hitch, an airbag absorption style hitch for your gooseneck trailer. You can see it's rigid, normal style. Well, that's going to take some of the shock load off of the trailer and off of the truck, empty or loaded. You can adjust this sucker with air pressure and I do have onboard air with the truck so we'll be able to you know make it what we want but first we got to take the other one off and I will say this thing it does weigh quite a bit let me look see if the packing slip where the heck is it it's on the bottom um cinder 80 pounds there goes all the weight loss right there so let's get this thing set up. First thing we got to do is uh, disconnect the BX1 hitch. Now normally I wouldn't be so gung-ho to do this if it was with the old trailer because that requires hand jacking it compared to whatever you normally do. Anyway, we got a button. Let's make it happen, Captain. Come on, man. I almost said, come on, hurry up, but let's be honest. Oh, settle back a little bit. Oh, yeah, that should give us plenty of room. Effortless. We might have should have disconnected some stuff. Oh, we got time. Oh, mama. Almost ran out of paint for how much I had. What was I on number? Whoa, we can't go any higher than that. Look at that, we are on the last notch. Whew. Well, it looks kind of goopy. Before we go too far along though, let's put a little bit of grease in there. Get in there. Okay, let's talk about this sucker before I put it in there real quick. 30K rated shocker hitch. It has the same standard BX1 lock that comes standard on the Diamond C. Same rig. Not a bad little package. I like it because it, well, you get the spring lock and then you also have, roll it over. You have this here. So you're double locked. Uh, also, I liked it because, well, you could put an actual lock right there. In case you want to leave your trailer somewhere so what i'm going to do is try to get this thing in there by myself fingers crossed now i don't know if this is going to work but we're going to try it Brother, there goes the paint.
Bad boy. Looks fancy. Oh yeah. All right. Rig is all hooked up. Both my bolts are tightened down. Pin in. We're ready to rock. So I did release all the pressure in the bag just to see what it do. Yeah, that would like that would destroy you going down the road having it that that loose. But up here, it says this is low pressure hitch. It works by toe resistance. Set your Prius size approximately 15 pounds from the start. Drive down the road and increase five PSI until you find something you like. So I took a bound to nothing. Let's put 15 in it and see what it does. Oh, that turned it into something. Let's make sure the jacks are up. Diamond C, thank you guys, appreciate it. Next thing you guys will see is a machine on here and we'll be towing out to the job. But I did, I do have onboard air on the truck, so in case anybody was wondering. We are equipped with pack brake onboard air. You know what I mean? Gotta have it. Good stuff. All right. All right, guys. Very next day after installing the shocker, we're gonna go haul a 12,000 pound excavator to a tow working job. So we're gonna test this sucker out. Again, 15 PSI in it from the start. We'll see how she rides empty versus loaded. This trailer being a little bit shorter, it kind of, every if you hit a bump, you can definitely tell it. It kind of teeters it a little bit. Uh, we'll see if that solves that issue right there. Makes the ride a little bit smoother having a shocker just on empty. Only. the excavator we got to swap over a bucket and grab another bucket i don't even know where the buckets are at yard's a mess around here where the heck are we at there's a big bucket for the wrong excavator so we got to do a little hide and seek discovery um try dosing this rig with a little bit extra tongue weight ish i don't know i gotta learn this new trailer a little bit better for positioning equipment on there and it's kind of hard to tell um I, definitely on 15 psi empty trailer i could tell the trailer felt smoother but driving with a 5500 with an empty trailer it just kind of beats you up no matter what so yeah that's that's just the name of the game but when you're loaded not that bad it feels a lot more safe having a 5500 versus a 35 when you're loaded Twelve thousand pound excavators all loaded up. You can see how much tongue weight I have. The top of the bolts and those green rubber squishers, little absorption shockers right there, whatever you want to call them. That's where the thing normally sits when it's all the way expanded. So let's, let's drop the front end about a quarter inch. We'll see what that does at 20 PSI. We'll light up the road and I might have to adjust it. Probably got to adjust it for every weight, but we'll try. Yeah, because I was just rocking and back and forth, just 
I pumped the brakes a little bit, seeing what it do. Says we're at 30 now. See how that shakes out. PSI at that last stop it is definitely feeling nicer all right 40 here put her right at 50 I'll take you back in the cab with me see how she does that's the first crack on the flatbed I don't know if that's just the paint or what oh yeah no yeah, she cracked. Oh, there's first crack on the North Star flatbed. God dang it. We're gonna take some back roads. I can definitely tell it's starting to come around on us here. It's starting to work for us. Just drove the trailer up on a lip onto the road. Didn't even feel the trailer bobble in the truck. We got about 50 PSI in it right now. I had no idea how much PSI it says or it needs. It just says start at 15 and go up in five PSI increment, increments until you get something you like. Well, five wasn't cutting it, I can tell you that. Wow, yeah, I know it's definitely working. Oh, brother. <laughs> Compared to when it's not working, oh man, it's freaking, holy crap. About 50 PSI, I'd be curious to see how 50 PSI feels when it's, uh, there's no weight on the trailer. But, wait for this old garbage truck, okay, shit. Garbage truck, he stopped right in the corner. Grab that can. You go ahead, jokers. People think you can do all kinds of sweet maneuvers with 55 plus feet long. It's like when I drive over those little bumps in the center of the road. I don't know if you guys got them there, wherever you guys live, but they carve them out and make little potholes in the center of the road for the reflectors to get in. 
That way when a snow plow comes along, you don't rip all the reflectors off the first pass of the winter. All right, now this is a crappy road right here. Chip seal. Pothole infested. Like I said, we're taking some back streets trying to test this thing out while we got the camera figured out for this video. It is significantly better. The 5500 is a rough ride to start off with, so my hand moving around shaking the cameras, that's just 5500. Oh brother, it's gonna be tight down here with the new trailer. It's nice when I had the GoPro out there, I could see how much that bag was actually moving. But now you guys got it in here. You gotta hear me talk. Sorry, little car, you're gonna have to slow down for me. Thank you. Feeling good, boys. Wow. Well, I'm gonna say this shocker hitch is nice. I really like it. Take a little bit of fine tuning, but I think over the road type of a guy that uh, gets used to having the hitch and every time he picks up a new load, he knows roughly the payload and you adjust your shocker hitch PSI accordingly. I was talking with uh, Jacob at Diamond C last night about this rig and uh, I told him I had onboard air for the truck so I could just readjust it on the on the road and I didn't even think about it but he made a good point if you have like similar system for your airbags for the rear of your truck you have a switch to adjust the PSI it might be a little bit difficult to plumb put the line somewhere you know out of harm's way I guess but I think that would be slick to have onboard air like I do have on a switch to adjust the PSI for the shocker. I think that would be that would be the ticket right there because if it's a little bit rough riding, soft or hard, you can adjust it from inside the cab. You don't have to get out like I did every time. Of course, that would be extra money in you know out of your pocket to get onboard air if you didn't already have it equipped on your truck. But I will say, say it, I say it a million times, but towing with a 5500, it's it's a rough ride. But having the shocker, it took, well, the truck's still going to be kind of rough, but absorbs some of the trailer impact, which I drove over some curbs and stuff. Not like full curbs, but, you know, a little bit of a ditch action. And you don't really feel much recoil from that impact going through the trailer up into the truck. Well, I'll point out this thing does have grease zerk for every moving spot on it. So it's even got a grease zerk for the BX1 latch down there on the bottom. I think it's a sweet setup. I was a little hesitant at first because I just didn't have enough PSI in it. Now I have enough or real close to enough. It could maybe use a touch more. But it's nice having the camera back here and I can look on my phone to see how much this sh shocker was going up and down. At first it was pretty bad, but about 50 PSI with trailer weighs about 8 with all the chains and then 12K excavator, maybe 21 total. So about 20, 21,000 pounds behind the truck, this shocker hitch, that made it quite a bit different. Um, I want to try a Gen Y hitch as well to see the comparison. Um, Gen Y, obviously you don't have to get out and do this kind of stuff. You don't have to mess with it. And uh, you don't have to adjust the pressure and stuff. I mean, look how much upwards pressure I have from the bag right there squishing that. So that's what it took to get it to where I wanted it to be comfortable. I don't know, maybe not go more than 50 PSI. Time will tell. This was my first rip with it. Thanks to those guys. Well, we'll see you guys on the next one. Hit them buttons for me, like, comment, subscribe, and if you're looking at getting a shocker hitch, I think they're worth the money. I think that thing is a little fine-tuning, but 
it took a lot of the recoil out of that trailer when I was towing it around. So good job. Anyway, guys, hit that like button for Boone. Started off as just doing some stump grinding here, but they had some dirt work ideas, so that's why I brought this thing up to this job. I just did some more stump grinding for them. We're gonna do have a karate feng shui pad, something here. Had to have a nice little level-ish. It's pretty level, it's got a nice slope to it. Somebody wanted to see a machine actually working when I haul it around. We do work them, I have plenty of videos of us actually working them. Third work today. On to the next one, later.